Are y'all so cool and welcome back to Total War Attilus. It's 12 Pro Baby, my baby, and we are back. So, I want to start off by saying sorry it didn't come out on Wednesday. I was able to record the video on Wednesday. And so we pushed it back until Friday. I hope you all are fine with that. And so we're back today. And we're here with uh, the uh, French army here. And we're just going to continue assault, right, our assault against Austria. Now, I recorded this video. But my mic audio was garbage, and so I'm having to record this again after I recorded this. So I might be a bit late to like mention stuff that's happening or anything like that. So, uh, and also we talk about it in the past tense, but I do prefer it when it's like, like I do prefer recording while I'm doing something. But I decided I didn't want to go and record this entire video back again. So anyway, uh, I have some big news though. I got a game called Armor for the yeah, I'm pretty sure most of you probably heard of it. Um, and uh, in that game, uh, it's like a Marvel game, Star Wars mods, Halo mods, stuff like that. Um, and uh, there's a big group called the First MU, which is hosted by Serenic Steel, who's another fantastic YouTuber. We should check them out. I'll probably leave this in the description. Um, and uh, basically, uh, I think about joining his group because he holds a lot of amazing uh community events like uh just big big games and they're like all they're kind of like uh, semi-serious about it so like they're kind of um acting kind of not like what the characters in the game would be so i'm definitely thinking about joining that um whether or not it's for you too i'm probably still gonna do it uh although i do not have enough game hours yet the minimum is like 20 and i need like i have like so i definitely need to grind in that game a little bit there but um when I do, I think I will start posting on my videos with Sorrento Steel and this whole group when uh, they have them. I think they have them every weekend or so like that. Uh, and so, uh, also, right now, uh, I decided, I found out, I came onto this game and I saw that this decisions tab was highlighted. Growing. As you can see here, so this ask the group for money thing has been highlighted for a very long while. You've been able to do this decision for a very long time, but now the second one, the Founded Empire, has just become available to us. This is what was highlighting when I entered the game. Uh, and basically this means that we can make France an empire. Now this is not what we're going to do this video, as you probably have got by the title. Um, this is not going to be the whole point of today's video. However, this is going to be the point of the next video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Don't worry, it's going to be coming out on Wednesday. Uh, I have a long weekend, so uh, we'll be able to do some more uploading stuff like that. And so yeah, that's uh, not what we're going to do. So this video, we're going to focus on Austria. Uh, we're going to declare war on them last time, and we're going to be trying to take them out here over at Venice uh, and Graz. And it's basically just crush this little front here and continue pushing it more eastward towards the heart of their empire. Uh, so I'm talking about where all the territories and stuff are. Uh, and also now we're here in the, uh, the family tree. But uh, there's a little bit that happens. I do most of this behind the scenes because this part is kind of boring. Um, here, so I'm just trying to decide who we're going to put in office. But yeah, anyway, so that's, uh, so yeah, I'll be posting some armor tree videos very soon. Um, there are, the most, the only armor tree videos I'll probably be posting, it's not going to be like a base game. Uh, like, uh, usual, like, I like to post the campaign to start my base games. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing that with Armor 3. I am going to be, uh, only uploading times that I, when I record, and two, that I play with the first MEU, if I get accepted from something group. So, um, yeah, that's basically what we're going to be doing, and it's most likely only going to be Star Wars related. However, I'm a big Halo fan, and they do have a Halo mod. So that might also happen. I might also have some cool videos up on Armor 3. So, yeah, we're just I'm looking around here. I think about I think about that. Yep. So, uh, we are back here and we're at the siege of Venice. Uh, this is this is an easy auto, so I'm just going to get what's necessary uh, to attack it with. And also, I got the siege tower just to minimize this as much as we physically can when we attack the Venice. So we're back here up at uh, Vienna, and all this stuff has finally been repaired and stuff like that. So now I'm just trying to figure out, like, because this building here, the one that the Austrians have, it gives them uh, sanitation, as you can see right there. It's a baker. It gives them sanitation, 
And because Austrians have, I figured that the French might also have a building similar that gets used sanitation as well. Carbon Baker. But it turns out that we don't. It's annoying. So we don't have any sanitation. So things like that. So I'm just going to destroy it. Then we have some farms. And some built some wheat farms there. I'm going to transition this. I'm going through this whole thing uh, right here. Where I'm just looking at this because I have like five options right there. I have like five options. Um, and usually we only get like four, uh, two of which are like upgrade focus and two of which are recruiting options, but this time I have like five and I'm like, just like, why, wait, why do I get five options? So I bring up the page and as you can see, it's only supposed to be four, but for some reason in this place I have five. And so right now I'm just wondering whether this is like, maybe this is like an Austrian thing and maybe when I build this, it'll all be like... Um, it'll all be stuff that's like on the stream, so I'm not actually able to do it. But at the end of the day, here I am gonna pull out, I think the one that looks good like Fruit and Mates. I think this, yeah, this one right here. This one I'm in the building. And then we have another farm, but it doesn't have the one that I want to build available, the cattle herd. Because I'm pretty sure the Austrians already had to build the first one. So I'm just gonna destroy that and bring it down to the here. I'm gonna also destroy the silver farm. And now we're going to go ahead and take out the Swords of Justice which is the King. And we are going to attack these guys here at Grass. They have a big chunky army waiting for us here. And we're going to go ahead and attack them outside their walls so they don't get the defense in the walls. Uh, behind them and stuff, uh, they won't be able to hide behind it after the fight is out in the open plane. And so I'm thinking that a solid, like a corner defense or on top of this uh, hill, there is a hill in the middle of the map right there. Um, I thought maybe like sitting up right there, because it is close enough to so we can beat them to a nice high ground position. But I think a corner defense is actually a little low here. Um, because, you know, the high ground, it doesn't really do much for it. You know, and it can work the high ground. Um, it's not the high ground is not everything. So we finally get into the game here. There are some forces from the city, and we have our army set up in the corner defense, the corner camping as the back. So we have the boys in the hidden forces, our best formation ever. Definitely does not piss off any right to love pros. Why would it? Uh, not just until it was here. Whenever units are spread out as soon as they physically can't be like this. Uh, it's, it's really annoying. Uh, and it's not very good against cab. Like, all it takes is one cab unit. Just, like, even a light one just to run into the unit. And it's dead, especially if you say Because, I mean, it'll just break right through. Like, you could just ram your unit right into it and hit this stuff behind. So, it's not the best formation. Uh, now, we could sit here in corner camp all day, however, uh, we actually can't do that because we have an hour, and if the hour runs out, then we actually lose the battle this time. It's only like last time we're not defending, we are attacking the Austrians here, so it is going to be what happens. So I was scouting with my cab, and it was a couple of them, and yeah, the Austrians are just sitting here and they are not moving. So I got the boys just up right up on it. Uh, go ahead and uh, end this because uh, we're going to fight them on their turf. They, uh, they, uh, they just don't want to come after us. and what the hell they were doing. 
thing. Uh, now I'm gonna push towards this forest. You're gonna hate this because they are hidden in the forest. They're all over the freaking forest, and I cannot see where they are hidden. Uh, so I just I don't know like, where they are. So I have to push forward and blind that. See anything? See this crossbow unit coming after us? So I'm gonna charge all of the cabs in here. I was a bit messy with this, but I charge all of the cabs. All like 240 of them straight in here. I see that giant coming like, oh, they all dip out. Now the big thing is like these these frames could take on them, but I want to get the charge on them because you can fight the enemy when all this is The big thing about Cav is that the charge is devastating, and that kind of decides whether or not you're going to win the battle. The charge is devastating. So four units all charge against you are a very devastating. Instead of just like moving from one to one, he got the charge on us, and that was devastated our cab. So, while we're micromanaging the cab, I'm splitting up my army as well. Got to slip up the Agla. So, anyway, yeah, we're still moving up on both fronts here. We have the cab on one side, and we have both the infantry plus the general on the other side. Now, this is no ordinary general, this is our king. He is the guy who runs the entirety of the ranch in this world. This thing is going to expand my hair for the entire country. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to be sure to be careful with them. that there, but uh, they have like their crossbows like this. The AI is uh, very weird here, but they use their AI and their crossbows very well. And it just like basically outflanks us and it gives nice side shots on us. It's very sad for us. Alright, so we start getting shot at by the crossbows, I'm assuming. And so. I was them to shoot that unit, but they kept running, even though they were well within range. You can see they are well within range of shooting that unit. Um, they keep on running after them for some reason, so I was kind of getting there. See, now we're targeting all of the boys in here. Let's get all of the boys up here. We've got our two heavy knight units, the two sergeants, and the one spirit unit, and we have three. Um, I'm not entirely sure what y'all 
regular Attila, you would never dare, you know, let's ever do this, but this is, well, so they be mod, they be, so it doesn't matter, your charge is better than the entire spear unit, and even though the spear is specifically supposed to be anti-cavalry, you can easily shred, uh, this is a very questionable decision, but I'm gonna pull up the cat, I mean, they were kind of screwed anyway, but I think they caused a lot of people to die, it's not good, but to make up for the fact that I am pulling out my cab in a very double decision, I am also going to bring in my general. But hopefully, this, this is a pretty smart move. Because so I have the boys running away, and they're going to charge their cab in after us. But then what I do is I charge my king in after their cab, and then just do an absolute slight slide uh, slide. It's absolutely devastating. So, that was a pretty good move right there. Uh, so, over here, their king pulled out his first deck. But my cab is taking a beating. Uh, they're all way below half health. That's the case. So it's not looking good there, and the infantry is not looking great either. Some of the uh, light infantry just start crowding. They're not crowding. They start wavering, which is not good. Of course, they look like they are just wavering.
not it's not at all good at all that so um unfortunately he did die at the second battle here um but at least he died in the battle and then died to be the best way to go but also dying in battle uh during the world period not so i just completely crushed that point they're sorry for the time completely crushed their front, or half of their army there. I'm gonna charge in the, the I was kinda, kinda look at it, you know, I didn't know what the hell it was gonna uh, but we're gonna go ahead and charge their spears, that's a full unit of spears. Yeah, it was kinda looking big, we're in the void, routing their units, every time we charge them, they have, you know, it's almost a guarantee, route and shatter. Or maybe just a route, not a shatter. Um, Right off the bat, you see there we deck those guys, but at this point there are three casualties, which are all very heavy to beat up. And then it's our three archers. At this point out just two cat units. Um, we're gonna try their best to counter charge their force unit there because here. And we have these guys these guys shooting in here, crossbows trying to do as much damage as they can. Crossbows. They're not like cavalry, so they're not nearly as devastating as scout cavalry. Let's see what they're doing. However, uh, there's some very interesting versions of the attacking the path thing here. You're about to see it. So, we're sitting here on the brink of the edge, showing we're about to die. There's about six guys in our cavalry. Charge. Uh, one sword and one spear. And they lose one guy on the impact. However, both in the start start wavering. Naturally they lose another guy in the game. One of them routes, and then the second one routes. At this point I'm just in complete shock. That six guys, six knights, somehow managed to kill two units of about a hundred each. Like two hundred men. Basically, just let them see. Like, they killed six guys and to route 600, 200 men. It's just absolutely crazy. Now so there's only three of them. Uh, and so, it's not looking very good at all. It starts, uh, right now. But, you know, are really good. Our units are gonna attack them. Um, our archers are gonna attack them. This bullet seems to charge and straight and add to the process. So, you know, grab it. that one there. And so I'm gonna start charging the other guys here and try and stop that unit. Yeah, this unit is charging. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and try and charge that cost of the I'm actually just gonna charge the unit and set him. However, our king, our king gets off the charge there and then he's gonna deck that unit again. Oh, I'm on that way. Uh, I'm probably, I'll probably look at this much here because it's been an hour, so I'll start breaking and then one breaks. It's a battle. It's not very good. However, we uh, did manage we to get away with 390 them, which is not exactly the greatest, but they deployed with 2,700 men, and they lost 1,600, so they lost over half their force in this fight. We got away with 60 units, which is not uh, great, uh, but it's fine. We did manage to get away with at least a couple of units, both uh, two of the elite, which is good. So now we have two of the guys to leave the army because our king died, which is uh, not the best. Uh, yeah, he did the, he go and die, so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy up top, uh, to be the substitute for the army at the current moment. I was gonna recruit some guy, I was thinking about recruiting some mercenaries to keep us alive, but it wasn't anything good that we could recruit. And so now we have to bring this army that's been sitting up north for the past forever, and we have to bring them down to, uh, Vienna, here so that they can help participate during the battle, or during the war. And Right now, I'm looking for a good place to start up a set another army because I mean we've been using three armies, and we can support three armies. I mean, we have three hundred thousand dollars in the bank and are making like twenty k a turn. I don't see why we can't uh, have three different armies, uh, all of which are fairly elite. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and find a good place that we can possibly build a decent I'm army sure. here. I was thinking about just doing a Normandy, we'll but Trier has two of the things, all the things that we need to recruit a good army, like the Templars, Hospital Knights, stuff like that. And I go ahead and recruit the heir. I actually forgot this. The time we're recording this, one. this is the heir of our kingdom. And we have a lot of noblemen here in Trier. I don't know why, but we have a ton of noble units. So we got two elite swordsmen, we got four elite cav. I mean, we have not seen that many knights, that many elite knights in a very long time. So that's going to be the starting care. That's going to take eight turns just that's to get all that army there. It's a very long time for just for a very like, a fraction of an army. Yeah, and so people have died, stuff like that. And I'm trying to adopt one of these guys into our, uh, into our family because he was originally married to someone from our family, so that's why he was in the family. But that person died, and so now we're trying to get him back into the family. Um, and yeah, we do have a new constable. I did that a little while ago. We appointed a new constable. Uh, we haven't had one since the very early days of the campaign after he died. And yep, that's going to be about this turn. Yep, because next turn we're going to fight for the next. Alright, so we auto resolve Venice and pretty deep there, so we just take Venice there, and now it's ours. Now, while the turn was ending, we had to run away with that army up here because we didn't pull back. They tried to kill us, so we retreated, and we actually managed to retreat far enough away that we got away. So I'm trying to decide, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this army, uh, so I'm trying to decide how much I'm gonna give to them. And I'm just gonna give them the actual good units, so that is the swordsman and the knight unit. Uh, and then I'm gonna completely struggle to get that unit there. But there we go, we got rid of them. And now the king's fist has some pretty decent units in it now. Of course, they are pretty heavy. Units. Uh, and yeah, so we took Venice, and now we're gonna head towards Grads, our next uh, our next point of capture. So we're here, we're going to take out this army, we're going to take out the with our chonker of an army here, we'll bring them back to Venice, and then we're going to take this big army here, uh, all the way down to Graz, and we're going to go ahead and take this, we're going to capture, they have a pretty crappy defense, thanks to the king. The king managed to make defense for it. So I guess the king didn't really die in it anymore. It's just, I mean, it was better if he was alive. You know? I think it's going to be one more cut. I'm not entirely sure what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to do the outro here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see even more of uh, this Attila campaign, you should all see Attila campaign, and y'all see, uh, you should all to like this. Now, I'll make sure to do more, because this is a fun campaign. You should check out the Mini Coast. Yeah, I'll see y'all next time.